other problems where marijuana, just simple possession of personal consumption amount can complicate a life is if you have that in a drug-free zone. So if you're a high school student or worse, a parent in the pickup line at school, don't have THC on you. Don't have leafy marijuana. Don't have synthetic marijuana. Don't have anything that has been concentrated into stronger. These are things not to take with you. If your addition of THC or a THC concentrate, introducing that into a drug-free zone, a school, unnecessarily complicates criminal matters because it it removes it from zones of potential leniency that the state of Texas could possibly consider for a defendant. But when that citizen makes a choice to bring a drug concentrate or a leafy form of a plant-based type of THC onto a school premises, that really ties the state's hands, it increases consequences, and worse, it's going to unnecessarily complicate any plea bargain or criminal matter that that citizen is going to be facing. So just don't do it. So essentially, possession of marijuana under two ounces is a class B offense. And in certain counties, any amount of marijuana is prosecuted as it always has been. It's against the federal law and therefore in Hill County, Texas, or any number of counties outside of, and in fact, if this is something that you need to be aware of, if you're outside of Harris, Travis, or Dallas counties, you should expect that marijuana is prosecuted like it has been for the last century in the state of Texas, where everything is a, it's against the federal law and therefore it's against state law and you're gonna be arrested for it, no matter how much the amount is. So these are things to be cognizant of if you're traveling across Texas to work like 90% of Texans are.